we are back! Welcome back to the channel, my name is Lag, and this is Grounded. Now, I know I said that on the next episode, which is this episode, we were gonna go meet Dr. Tully. Well, first we're gonna go kill the Broodmother, okay? Because I am missing a piece of my armor set that I desperately want to have before I try to go underneath that shed to where Dr. Tully lives. So, I need to get one more piece of armor, which I can only get from the Broodmother, so, I guess we're gonna go do that now. This will be my first time ever fighting the Broodmother in wall mode difficulty, but lately, wall mode's starting to feel more like normal mode. I'm uh, pretty strong. I've got my health maxed out. You know, I've got my heals maxed out. I've got some pretty decent armor and some good weapons upgraded pretty far. So, it's starting to all kind of balance out and it's not as tough. So, maybe the Broodmother won't be that hard. We'll see. Let's go find out. Normally, I would go up that branch and then navigate all throughout the limbs there, all the way over to the other side of the bush to go to the bird mother. But being the proactive person that I am, I went ahead and set something up that's gonna make us getting to the bird mother very easy. And we're gonna have to fight her probably several times uh, so I can get the stuffed bird mother. I hope there's a stuffed bird mother. I actually don't know. Uh, the wall mount bird mother. And then also I can get an armor piece and a weapon. So in order to get that, I'm gonna have to kill her a few times to get all the parts I need. So I figured this staircase would make my life a whole lot easier for all of the times I'm gonna have to come over here and do that. Up we go to the Frisbee. Let's just do this and we're here. And I cleared off all the spider eggs and little spiderlings, so it's actually kind of peaceful up here. But then you'd wanna go this way. If you've never fought the Broodmother, it's one of the bosses in the game. This will be our third boss we have fought. We fought the assistant manager. And we have fought the, uh... Termite King, that's it. The Termite King. But this is the Broodmother's Lair. Nowhere to be found right now. But that's because we have to lure her out. If you remember way back on, like, episode three, we got a recipe for the Broodmother BLT. And so we'll put the BLT right here, and down she'll come. But first, I want to get prepped. To do that, I'll pop a bandage. And then I'll pop uh, this, which gives me, I think, better attack. And this gives me better defense. And there we go. I think I'm ready. Pop it. Let's kill the brood mother. Hello. Come on down. It's going to be a good time. Oh, that's just the creepiest thing ever. Okay, there we go. That's a good start. Okay, that's a bad start. She bit me, but did not poison me. Thank God. No, no, no. Oh, I hate that jump she does. Okay, she's got ads. So we'll just take them out as quickly as possible with our staff. I've thought of everything. Now we wait, and we block, and we attack. And that's what we do. Ah! Okay, she poisoned me? Okay, it's just, it's just part of the game. Get poisoned a little bit, it's fine. Just heal up. Oh, here comes some more ads. The bigger ads. Mobs, if you will. Stamina, please. All right, thank you. Let's go. And then we smack her in the stupid face. Come on, come on. Nope, 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 nope. And yeah. I think she hit me one time because of poisoned. Go. Come on, what are you gonna do? Nothing. That's exactly what you're gonna do. This is my layer now. Oh, there comes some more ads. Yeah. And boom! Die. Please, stamina. Stamina, please. Okay, we got two of them dead. Two more dead. Lock something. There we go. And boom! Okay. Oh, thank you, staff. It's, it's a good thing we made that staff on the last video. It's almost like I have everything planned out exactly what I'm gonna do. Ow! A little bit of heals. And some more smacking. And... Ow! Ow, you bitch. Yeah. I didn't stab it. Okay, get her. Yeah. Yeah. You're so close to death. No. No. And you are dead. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. That's what's up. All right, let's peep her before we pluck her body. There we go, the brood mother. Slashing and spicy, which is why I was using spicy stuff and my sword. 
And then we will pluck her. And we got some Broodmother Chunks. Broodmother Fangs. The Broodmother Venom. That's it. That's what we got. Didn't get the gold card. I was hoping to get the gold card on my first try. Not this time. All right, now we can go home and research those parts. And let's see what we can make. Brought 20 heals to the fight, I think. And only ended up using two of them. Maybe I brought 21. I feel like I used three heals during that fight. But not bad for one mode. I'll tell you that. That was way better than I thought it was going to go. And that staff was super helpful dealing with the little tiny one. Normally, I ignore the little tiny ones because in normal difficulty, they're really not a problem. You can just ignore them and keep chopping away at her and you probably won't die so long as you keep, uh, you know, using your heals. But because we're playing on wall mode, they'll do a lot more damage. So I figured we better try to take them out because I learned that during the assistant manager fight, that was the key to everything. So I made them a priority and it worked out perfectly. Plus my two smoothies that gave me better defense and better attack damage also didn't hurt either. In fact, they helped. I wonder how long it takes before I could fight her again. You know, I should have tested that because I brought a second BLT, but I've already gone this far. I can't go back now. We've gone too far. Now we'll go back home and do some research on those parts. All right, research time. Broodmother Fangs, Club of the Mother Demon. Love it. One of the best weapons in the game, in my opinion. I say in my opinion because we all have different tastes. There is no wrong weapon. There is no wrong armor set. You play with whatever you want to play with. It's an RPG after all, whatever suits your playstyle. And here we've got the Broodmother Chunks. The Mask of the Mother Demon. Now that is the armor piece that I'm going to re be replacing this Black Ox helmet with. And that's what I use always. I always use this Mask of the Mother Demon and the Roly Poly armor set until a little bit later on that I change out the Roly Poly armor set for something else. We've also got the Broodmother trophy and there is a stuffed Broodmother. <laughs> it's enormous. Oh, I cannot wait to put this in the forest. What's it going to cost? It's going to cost uh, two Broodmother Fangs and four of the five chunks and some B-Fuzz. So, like, I could build this right now, but that's not smart to do right now. I think what is smart to do right now is possibly go ahead and put this up here on this wall. Why won't you fit right there? Okay, that'll work. Um, and that way, every time I fight her, she'll be a little weaker. Um, I think this is the next step. So, I am going to build this right now. And that fits perfectly right there. Uh, I just need to put those in, and then we'll go get an acorn chunk. So I'm not going to be building my mask right now. We're going to have to go fight her again, which we're going to do, and then I'll make my mask. But since I have to fight her probably three or four times total to get everything built that I want to build, um, it's probably smart to start off with that. So she's weaker every time I fight her. And one acorn shell. There it is. Don't tell me. Okay, I was about to say, don't tell me I can't mark her. All right, so let's mark her and see what kind of buff we get. Love that roar. Under our status, we have Broodmother Damage. Increases damage dealt against the Broodmother for the next 15 minutes. So I guess uh, what I should do is probably go to sleep. Make it daytime again, because it's about to be nighttime. Then we'll head over there the next day. Uh, that way, maybe she has a chance to respawn. I don't, like I said, I don't know if there's a cooldown period, but we should probably sleep it off. And then we'll come and check to see if we can fight her again. I'll make another Liquid Rage, which was the plus attack. And I'll make another human food, which was the plus damage resist. And we'll make them both sticky. That way they last longer. All right, let's hit this. All right, we've got 15 minutes to go kill the broodmother. We'll get some extra damage during those 15 minutes. Hopefully there's not a cooldown like I was saying earlier. And we can just fight her again. Absolutely destroy her. Once we get to the broodmother, we should still have well over 10 minutes. Probably like 12 or 13 minutes of the extra damage. Because I have the zip line and the stairs set up, I'm not really wasting much time. Plus, I'm using that mutation that makes me run fast right now. I'll switch it out for the uh, Mithridatrism when I get there. So that way I don't take as much uh, damage when she does poison me. Look how quick we got there. Boom. And we are here. Let me check my status. For some reason, it's actually not showing up on this page that I'm getting the uh, extra damage. That's weird. I'll have to play around with that and see why it didn't work this time. But I switched over to Mithridatrism and I'm going to take both of my smoothies now. Plop in the BLT. And yep, we can fight her again. Cool. So there might be a cooldown, but it's no more than a day. That's for sure. Smack her. Smack her. I don't know if I'm getting extra damage or not. Maybe it's just not showing up. All right. Oh, she screamed. She debuffed me. Ow! Ow! Stop biting me. You stop it right now, bird mommy. You'll pay for that. You'll pay for your stupid debuffs. You ain't so bad. 
You ain't so bad. All right, kill the little minions. There we go, wait for some stamina. Oh, little wizard. What is that? Oh, she's doing a lot of damage to me, hold on. Well, this is not going as smoothly as our first attempt, but it's going nevertheless. Ow, ow. Kill the little ones. No, no screaming, no screaming, ow. And she screams and knocks me down. Ow, ow, ow. Ah. All right, say goodbye to the little ones. Why won't they die? Die! I'm sick of it! This one is impervious to pain. Yeah, yeah. Now she bit me. She bit me. Now it's my turn to bite back. Good night. Did well, bird mother. You did well. You actually maybe used a lot of my heels that time. Okay, take all that. Thank you very much. Oh, we got the gold brood mother card. All right. Now, the first time we fought and killed her, we unlocked mom jeans. This only has one face, and it says your vocal cords stretch to form spiderling summoning motherly cries. So if we activate that when we're fighting, every now and then some spiderlings will come out and help us. We also unlocked Whittle Wizard, which has three phases. Mastering sufficiently advanced culinary technology, the apparent magic within candy staves is unlocked. Different damage types apply unique status effects to creatures. Spiciness burns, mintiness slows, and sourness stuns. Mastery bonus, attacking with a staff reduces the stamina cost of additional staff attacks. Okay, a lot to go over there. But once we get into phase three, that'll be the mastery bonus. And basically we'll get a reduction in stamina cost when we're using the staff. But for now, since we're using the spicy, the spiciness burns. So not only will it do the initial damage when the uh, spicy ball hits them, it'll now do, I think, an over the time damage. They're gonna have burn. And so it should be ticking their health, even if I'm not hitting them. And that'll only get stronger as I get up to phase three. Okay, the Mask of the Mother Demon. One Fang from the Brood Mother, three Brood Mother Chunks, and ten Silk Rope. And there we go, we have it on. My armor set is complete for now. So this is what it looks like. It's medium armor, and it's got plus poison coating, which will give us a chance to apply poison damage on any attack. So we should start seeing the health of the enemies tick down from time to time when we apply poison to them while we're attacking them. Oh, but it gets better than that. Let's upgrade it to level five. Most of the time I go down the bulky path, but this is what you need to do with the Mask of the Mother Demon. You need to take it down the stylish path and you're gonna unlock Poison Nova. So we'll take it to a level eight and then a level nine. So that is maxed out. And now you can see the defensive stats on it, not bad. And there's that Poison Nova. Poison Nova, your melee attacks have a chance to release a burst of poison to all living beings around you. So not only will we be doing poison damage from time to time when we're attacking, but also a green cloud of poison will just burst out of my mask and also poison them, giving the enemy two poison types plus whatever damage I'm doing with the weapon I'm using. So it's a massive upgrade to combat. This mask is amazing. And with that, we will retire the Black Ox helmet and I'm actually gonna make the rest of the armor set for the Black Ox, so this, this dummy will look just cooler, I guess. Um, and who knows, we might use it. The charge attack uh, bonus that you get with that armor set might come in handy at some point. <laughs> it looks so cool. I wanted to pay our friend, the green shield bug, another visit before we go up on the porch and start the Dr. Tully quest line because I need some more of his parts. And because it's daytime, we can actually see in here. Now this time, don't worry, I brought a gas mask. Mama. So there we go, we plopped it on and I see him right down there, so let's go get him. Hey, green shield bug, I can actually see you today. You wanna fight? Let's fight. Okay, we're fighting. Wait, where'd you go? Why did you do that? Ah. Ah. Good God, where is he now? He's in the ground again. No, he's not, he's fine. Okay, all right, let me hit you. I have to be like this. Okay, now it's on. Oh, there he goes in the air again. 
That's weird. That's weird. Hi. Oh, someone's dizzy. Someone's really dizzy. You're nothing. You're a nobody. That's why you live down here by yourself. Loser. Dead. Thanks. I'll take that. That's what I needed. That's exactly what I needed. All right, let's head up on the porch. This will be fun. So, Burgle told us that Dr. Tully's scabby needs to be repaired. If we repair it, it should ping his location and we can find him. And then he can give us the rest of the ingredients for the embiggening cocktail, which is how we're going to get out of here. We're going to get re-enlarged and finally escape the backyard. So, let's go down here. I need to kill a couple of black ants while I'm at it because I need to make that black ant armor set. Not to wear, just to have on one of my armor stands. So let's get to chopping. Ow. You stupid jerk. Oh, there goes my Nova. Yeah, that ant's just taking damage on his own now. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, there it goes again. You see how helpful this is? And he'll just die as he runs off. He ain't going nowhere. Watch. Pop. <laughs> I love it. Before we try to get up on the chair, we should explore the deck here a little bit and see what it all has to offer. Got a lot of black ants to offer, that's for sure. Oh, one from behind. Dirty tricks. Oh, you're dead. You died of natural causes. Die. Okay, probably gonna die. Yeah. Stop biting me. Thank you. Okay, one down. You're gonna die next. You're the next. There we go. Okay. Jeez. All right, that should be all the black ant parts I need to make the rest of that armor set. We have a doormat here, and it's got some lint on it, but it also has a ton of dust mites. So what I like to do is totally ignore the dust mites, run in, chop up the lint, and collect it, and run out. And that's what I'm going to do. Oh, God. Leave me alone. See how many there are? If you need a uh, dust mite fuzz, great place to get it. I do not need that right now. What I would like is the lint, though, so I'm taking it. All right, that was pretty good. We got a lot of lint. Now, if we follow this hose, we go up into this pot over here, You'll see where another boss lives at. And this is where the mantis lives. Now, I won't be in there because I didn't make the uh, the mantis kebab. You know, we still have to lure it out with the food. But we could check out its arena really quick while we're here. And it's a cool one. Look at this. So this is where we'll fight the uh, mantis. And we put the uh, kebab right in there. And it comes out. And I absolutely destroy it. But we'll do that another day. We come over here and there's some shears. There's obviously a milk bowl or somewhere. There's some raw science up there as well. Uh, so let's go up the shears and see what we can see when we get up here. What do you have in you? Looks like you just have a bunch of those burrs, which I don't need. But what you could do is climb all the way to the top and then dandelion tuft over to that thing and get that milk molar. But I don't have a dandelion tuft. I have something better. We'll use this hose to get up here and then we'll go over to that potted plant that has the milk molar in it. And I'll show you how we're going to get it. Place down a bounce web. And I brought all the stuff we needed. Boom. And then we should be able to just... Okay. All right. Let's move it back a little bit. And then now we should just be able to get right on in. And there we go. Milk molar's ours. Thank you very much. Now we'll just move the bounce web over to here. And we can also get this 500 raw science. Up we go. Wonderful. Come up on this plate. We've got an apple up here, but way too many ants. So that apple can stay. And we've got some jacks. A bouncy ball. What's in here? Nothing. Great. Fall down this crack here. That's how you go fight the green shield bug unless you build over the bag of fertilizer, which is what I did. And that is pretty much everything that you can find up on this back deck here. Now we're going to head over to the chair and see if we can find Dr. Tully's scabby. There's another milk molar nearby. Might be, uh, oh yeah, it's definitely underneath. There's a infected wolf spider that lives right under here. I've yet to fight him yet, but he's guarding a milk bowler. I'll have to remember to do that. So we're going to have to come all the way around to the side of the porch to get to that chair. We'll go up the hose here. And then let's see. We got a donut here. We're going to eat the donut. That's what we'll eat. No ants are mine. Rotten food. Rotten food. Donut chunk. I'm eating it. It's mine. Yeah. So good. How dare you? Oh, it's a fire ant. Got to use this. There we go. Oh, somebody's dizzy. Give me some more donuts. Thanks. Anywho, back to what we were doing. Now we can get on top of this can and then on top of the bat. And this is how you get up 
to the chair. Some raw science right back there. I wonder if I can jump on the ledge of this chair here. Let's see this little lip. Yeah, you can. And we'll get this. Now I'm afraid I might be stuck back here, though. I'm gonna have to go back up the bat, I think. Maybe not. Hang on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back up the bat. I can't get back through these holes. Don't have a dandelion tuft, so this is gonna hurt. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, we're definitely dying. Yeah. Oh, I lived. I lived. All right, I went down and got a dandelion tuft. It's just ridiculous not to have one, considering what we're about to do. And I think I pretty much need one anyway. So I found this field station, though. Doesn't have anything in here. But, you know, it adds to our resource surveyor um, range. Every time you discover one, they kind of link together. So when you're scanning resources, it pings off of all of the field stations you find. It widens your search. So make sure you're definitely uh, finding those research stations. Right, let's try this again, shall we? Up the bat. There's some candy on the chair if you want to go down there and deal with all those black ants. I do not. What we're aiming for is that hammer. So let's go. I'm up. And why are you on here? Get off of here. Stay down there. <laughs> you idiot. That ant just fell all the way down. We got to get over to that table. Uh, best way to do that is to just run and jump off here and then dandelion tough. So let's do that. And we're doing it. Here we go. Yeah, I totally needed a dandelion tough, so I had to go get one. And we're here, safe and sound. We've got a pipe and some toenail clippers and an ashtray, which has a bunch of toenails in it. Let's get them. Still want to make that toenail sword at some point. So this will go a long way to making that. I think we needed like 10 toenails though. I'll have to check the recipe. And what else do we have up here? Oh, look at this. We have ourselves a full size scabby. So that's gotta be Dr. Tully's. And we also have ourselves a sour wormhole. Burgle gave us a fuse to replace the old fuse inside of Dr. Tully's scabby so we can get it to work again. I think we're gonna need to put it right there. Bust this open. All right, cool. Put in the replacement fuse. Now we need to activate the scabby, which we'll do by pressing this button. Hello, my scabby wearing friend. I do not know who you are or how you came by this message, but please tell them I tried. Tell Trudy, Thor, my little Sarah, tell the world. The sun is setting on our yard and it brings back so many memories. Sitting in this chair, my favorite chair, my thinking chair. I fear this may be the last time I lay eyes on such a beautiful sight. I'm nearly out of time. My body shrivels more with each passing day. Even my scabby can barely fit on my bony wrist. The spacer, my greatest achievement, a disaster. The final chapter in the book of my many failures. Perhaps in solitude, free from my family, from Burgle, from Ominent, perhaps I can finally find a cure to this damnable reasoning. So, this will be my last adventure into the miniature world. I leave the warmth of the sun and embrace the unknown. I'll either find the answer or shrivel in the darkness below. To my lab underneath the shed. This is Dr. Wendell Tully signing off. Goodbye. There we go. We now know that Dr. Wendell Tully is underneath the shed in a lab we haven't been to before. So that's our next location. I'm going to catch you guys up on a little bit of the story. Okay, so Dr. Tully worked for Ominent, he created the Spacer, he was then fired for Ominent, and he feared that Ominent was going to steal his plans for his shrinking device known as the Spacer. Dr. Tully obviously continued his work here in the backyard, creating all kinds of labs and testing out his shrinking device back here. He's very paranoid though, he thinks that Ominent is spying on him, and through shrinking himself so many times, he contracted something that he's calling the Raisining, which shrivels him up like a prune. He's trying his hardest to reverse the effects, but with no luck. Now this is what you don't know because I haven't shown you in the video, but when you go to sleep in this game, sometimes you get a flashback dream and it shows me inside the Ominent Labs. I was kidnapped by Ominent because they're trying to perfect the spacer in the Ominent Labs. So they kidnap children and they do experiments on them with the spacer. Now, none of the children are being affected by the raisining. 
so there's hope that they could find a cure at Ominent. But after each fail, the director, known as Director Schmechter, decided that we as kids are expendable and to dispose of us, he tells his lab assistants. Well, some of the lab assistants have a conscience. They kidnap us from the lab, put us in a little tiny case, and drop us off in Wendell Tully's backyard, which is what you saw at the beginning of the game when we popped out of the case. So they sent us to the backyard in hopes that Dr. Tully can re-enlarge us and get us back home to our parents before Director Schmechter kills us. And now you're all caught up on what's going on. So if we want to find Dr. Telly, I believe we'll find him right through here. The under shed entrance. Now you cannot come here until you've done the storyline like I have just done. But then you can hold your hand on this and it'll unlock under the shed lab which we will, of course, be going into on the next episode. But hey, don't worry. I'm not going to leave you hanging. We got one more thing to do before we call it a day. So we're going to go back home really quick. Here we go. The green shield bug parts. This is what I killed him for so I could make another animal for my collection. And there he is. Uh, not really much bigger than the stink bug, but slightly bigger, but definitely more green. Looks cool. I also added the black ox beetle over here. So that looks amazing. I picked out a spot for our brood mother. We're going to have to build some more trees to make it look good and put some kill <laughs> these poor fireflies. We have to kill more fireflies so it can glow over here so you can see it better at nighttime. But there we go. I may have enough to do this. Actually, I think I'm one brood mother chunk short, but I'll kill her a couple more times because I still need to make the club of the mother demon as well. I have killed a total of 81 fireflies just so my base will look better. And also, what neutral animal am I missing? I can't seem to think of it. Let me know. I've got the red worker ant, the black worker ant, the ladybug, the bee, the firefly, the sickly roly-poly, and the regular roly-poly. There's some neutral animal that I am missing. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to drop a like on it. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24, and I will see you uh, next time.